Hello everyone, ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, how you guys doing today? I have some destiny information for you. And we all know about the equipment, uncommon, legendaries, and stuff like that. And we know how tedious it can be farming for legendaries and trying to obtain those legendary items and equipment and weapons. So, there's actually something higher of that, the legendary, and it's called exotic equipment, and yes, it's called exotic and it lives up to its name exotic but anyway <laughs> anyway um i'm just gonna show you what they look like and different ways you could obtain them um because they really do live up to the name here goes a picture of some of the legendary equipment chest plates helmets stuff like that here's just a few of them and here's some of the weapons and not only do they look good and stylish and everything, they also are high in damage and they're high in many other things. Like they're the top tier of weapons and equipment and stuff. But they're really, really tedious. The process of getting them is really tedious. But I'll get into that a bit later. But I just want to show you, I'm going to put this website in the description so you guys can go check the website yourself. It, got, it shows you all the armor here, the weapons here vehicles materials and here go more like pictures so now you can actually see you know it's attack what kind of like skill tree how much it has for the skill tree that's what kind of makes them a bit different from other stuff they have a bigger skill tree and they also have like different special abilities and stuff like here go here where it says the i what the icebreaker does this is a sniper rifle here and here goes some, um, let's the, take a look at this one here. You can take a look at his rate of fire, magazine, stuff like that. This is a rocket launcher. Its skill tree is here. And then it has like a description of some of the things that it can do, you know. So just take, check out this site. You're going to see a lot of interesting, cool looking things. Here's this. It has like a, it's a helmet, but it looks pretty stylish. It has like lights and stuff glowing on it. I think this one looks nice. I would use this one. And here goes, it's defense 311 and it's skill tree is here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down some more so you guys can see. This one looks pretty nice. I like it. It has a skull here and then it comes out and it has like these blade looking things made out of bone here. This one looks pretty nice. 254 defense. So good for like the story mode and stuff. The weapons are good for the PvP. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep scrolling down so you guys can see. But I, like I said, I'm going to put a link in the description of, um, of this site. So you guys can just go ahead and check it out yourself. It has the name of it, Crest of Alpha Lupi, or Lupi, whatever. Look at that, man. Gold. Like I like to see gold. That's like my favorite. That's my favorite of uh, element i guess water and go anyways <laughs> off track off track anyways <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at how to obtain these things how to get the best exotic and legendary gear i'm gonna leave a link in the description to this site as well um one way is the marks and now this it's like taking forever to load so whenever that's done this computer is so because i do so much rendering and so much stuff on this computer that i think i'm burning out the gpu like seriously i need to calm all that down but anyways yeah back to this thing i don't know this site be glitching out too a lot marks marks are special type of currency obtained from doing pve or pvp content doing strikes and heroic daily missions will snag you vanguard marks used to buy legendary pve gear Competing in Destiny's PvP mode, the Crucible will grant you Crucible marks used to buy legendary PvP armor and weapons. This is the slowest, but also the most consistent way to get legendary gear. If you don't want the standard Vanguard or Crucible gear, there are also three other factions players can purchase gear from. Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, and Future War Court. Cult. But, um, let's pause that. I hate ads, man. Anyway... <laughs> They said, sadly, 
just stocking up on your mark of choice isn't enough. You also have to farm reputations. You have to do bounties, patrols, or in PvP, you have to, in order to obtain a special rank within a given faction, you have to gain access to the gear. And I'm, you know, going to leave. You guys can finish reading more of this, but basically, marks isn't enough. You got to work on your reputation, too. Gosh. You got to work on your reputation, too. And exotic weapon bounties, too. So there are bounties that you can get that are specifically for exotic weapons. And I hear, from what I hear, it's really, really tedious. Like, it's really tedious or, like, Mission Impossible type stuff. But, of course, it's not impossible for you guys because you guys are just beasts with this game, right? It says, though, how exactly these are obtained is unclear. By completing bounties, possibly triggered by turning in multiple bounties at a time. Players seem to have a small chance of receiving a bounty for an exotic weapon. Exotic weapons and gear are a step above legendary gear in that they feature a much higher number of upgrade possibilities. They also look extremely cool, making them highly sought after. If you are so lucky as to receive an exotic bounty, weapon bounty, be careful which one you choose. Each bounty is tied to a specific type of exotic weapon. So if you aren't a fan of using hand cannons or pulse rifles, you, you will obviously not want to grab an exotic version of a gun type you don't like. And then here it has the different names of the bounties and which exotic weapon they obtain. Like the Shattered Memory Fragment bounty lets you obtain an exotic pulse rifle. So when I leave it in the description, you can check that out too. Another way to get it is Strange Coins. Another surefire way to obtain a piece of exotic gear is through the Xur, a mysterious vendor who only appears in the tower on the weekends. He sells exotic armor and weapons in exchange for a type of currency called strange coins. These coins are pretty random, but you can increase your chances of obtaining them by doing weekly heroic missions and playing on the strike playlist. Yes, these are very, very, they don't really drop that often, these strange coins. So you really have to put in hours and do a lot of farming in order to obtain those. And also when I was looking, the vendor, the mysterious vendor, he they say he pe appears on the weekend between 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. But you can go ahead and look that up just to be sure. But I'm pretty sure it was 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So be looking for him around that time. And here's a video right here. It probably lets you know, you know, where and what time and all of that stuff. So when you go watch it, you can go ahead and check that video out. Motes of Light is another way, is another way to do it. Motes of Light are like strange coins in that they are largely obtained through random drops. But unlike strange coins, Motes of Light can also be obtained through gaining a certain number of experience points after level 20. So be sure to keep completing bounties and missions to steadily obtain them. Motes of Light are used for two things, purchasing class-specific cosmetic gear for the speaker from the speaker or spending them with Xur in exchange for an exotic engram. Though the exotic engram isn't a sure bet for receiving a piece of legendary or exotic gear, it does yield a fairly solid chance of rewarding you with something good after it is decrypted, making it a smart way to spend all those motes of light. Um, yeah, and then farming is another way, and we know about the farming method. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, leave this link in the description to this thing. Hopefully you guys have like an ad blocker or something because like this is just, oh my goodness. Anyways, yeah. Anyways though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was really helpful to you guys. I just found out about the exotic gear. I didn't even know. I thought it stopped at legendary and I thought that was the highest thing. But no, it's exotic gear. And if you guys didn't know, now you know. If you already knew and here's ways that you can get it. But this is just for people who didn't know, and I hope it was really helpful to you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a nice day, guys.